Previously, we have been comparing expression in clusters or cell types and between samples on single cell level. The statistical test used in fact treated each cell as an independent replicate, ignoring correlations between the cells originating from the same sample. The resulting p-values can look too good and should at least be interpreted with caution. Sura version 5 introduced a function called aggregate expression, which, as the name says, aggregates cells from the same cluster and sample together to create pseudobulk profiles. So it returns summed counts for each identity class. In this nice figure from this Nature publication, we can see what the single cell data looks like and what happens in the pseudobulk analysis. So, here, each column is an individual cell and its row is a gene. Here, we can see which cells belong to which sample or replicate and which cells and replicates correspond to which sample group or condition. After aggregation, we will only have one value per each replicate. So at this point, the data looks just like bulk RNA seq data. Now the methods developed for bulk RNA data will work as intended, and yet we have the benefit of single cell resolution, allowing us to cluster the cells into cell types. How to run pseudobulk analysis in Chipster? We are starting again with the combined and integrated Surat object. Note that the pseudobulk tool now expects that you have several replicates from the two sample groups you wish to compare. It is important that those sample groups are marked here in the setup phase. In this example, we have three replicates in the COVID group and three in the normal or control group. We select the combined and integrated Surat object and then we choose the find D genes between sample groups pseudobulk tool. In the parameters, we select the used normalization method and type the name of the sample groups here. Other parameters are similar to other DE tools. However, please notice that if you choose DSIG2 as the test method, it can return NAs as p-values in some outlier cases. Here you can choose how to handle those values. The NA values are given as a separate output file, should there be some. As a result, you will get a DE gene table, some visualizations, and in the case of DSIG, and if there were any NAs in the p-value columns, you will get a separate table of those. You can now compare the DE table to the corresponding non-pseudo result using, for example, Venn diagram. The visualizations may help you to read the results. Here, for example, you can see the top genes in the pseudobulk test and their expression and compare those to the expression in the same genes in all cells.